So what we will be needing is, of course, a set of watercolors. I placed already the box here on the side. Uh, markers, um, pencil to sketch as well as the eraser in case when we will decide to change some lines, brushes, of course, watercolor paper or medium heavy uh, white uh, piece of white paper and the masking tape to create the edges. Uh, this, of course, is uh, not necessary. That's um, oh, that means optional. You decide if you want to have those edges or not. I like them. I think that uh, once we use the colors, we will have and later remove the masking tape. We will have beautiful white uh, frames around our painting. So. Here it's another one. Try when you apply the mar uh, the lines uh, using masking tape. Make sure that you will keep the same distance on all sides. Okay. So here we have our lovely frames, and now is the time to sketch. So my idea for the uh, painting is to create um, a vase with beautiful peonies or maybe roses. So I will start in the center, deciding where the vase will go. So very light, you remember, you use watercolor, so you don't want to have the lines very heavy. You can use the central line here and very lightly sketch a vertical line. And let's see, it will be finished here. So it will be one, two, one, okay, half. We have this point and then we will create the vase that is symmetrical. So that means I can decide that up to here, I will have, I'm like a circle here, you see, on both sides has to be very much the same distance. So truly, if you draw it, all those four sides should, uh, the distance should be uh, the same, right? So here we have the center or the border of the vase. On both sides, we apply, you see, the diagonal line and here's our vase, except that we have to round it a little bit. So again, the lowest point, it's coming in the center and up to the here to the side, I'm creating a rounded, rounded line. Here will be our vase, right? I'm not going with the other side because the other side will be covered. So now I can come back to my vase and make sure that those lines will be just a little bit darker, right? Once we are happy with the uh, main shape. So here's my pencil and on the bottom, like you see the same distance on both sides, I want to create the base for it. And the base again has to repeat very much the half of the ellipse here on the top. So here is our lovely vase. Good. Now from there, I want to have my flowers and how I want to do those flowers. Well, I will think about one flower facing us. So let's see, it will be here. Another one will go slightly on the side. Since I have lots of space here, I will make another one coming here, right here. And then another one may be coming, maybe a little bit lower. So coming here, this way here. Notice what I do, oval shapes, right? This is facing this side, this corner, right? Upper corner, lower left corner, the center, maybe another one coming here. So you see they are not repeating each other exactly um, symmetrically. So on both sides the same way. This flower is a little bit higher placed than this one here. This is lower. Um, maybe another one will come here, you see, and then maybe another one will be there. So maybe still, oh, well, we will find out. Maybe we'll apply the leaves here. So now with the flowers, since I decided that I want to have kind of peonies or maybe open roses, uh, I will start from the center. So here, like you see, I'm going like this, like this little bit wider on the side here everything here will be shorter you see so here will be a beautiful shape of my first flower okay now from then I want to this I want to go for this flower so again a little bit closer this line crossing our oval shape is going a little bit closer to the upper part than the lower one and again I'm starting the same way center notice a little bit like this a little bit the same, repeating oval shape, but in more uh, of the organic curvy line, okay? Then I will have another flower that faces us here again, center. And then I'm going here like this. See, a little bit more like this. Maybe I will even cover partially the vase and this flower as well. You see here, unevenly, right? The line is unevenly applied. Now this flower again, center. And then from there, I'm going hoo, 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 like this here, a little bit more here, a little bit more here. I want to have a bigger flower that will extend almost the line here, right here. 
Now I will work on this flower now and I decide that this has to be a smaller one so we'll be going this way here and then the last one here coming oh la la very nicely here and then there fantastic notice I already have my vase flowers and then the next step what I want to have is the leaves so I will think about leaves that have the same elongated shape one here maybe another one will come here right and you see a couple of veins here and another one here oh la la i start liking it very much and maybe another one coming you notice it's crossing the boundaries good from there when i'm ready mm, i think also that i will extend a little bit my face the heaviness of the vase. you see the bottom part and now from here i want to have if i need the stand maybe i do maybe i not i just apply it here okay the line good now from there I decide that I want to go with some outlines and I like to use uh, my marker. So I'm coming here and I repeat some of those beautiful lines that I like. Notice, if I need to correct certain lines, I, this is the time to do it. See, so for example, I'm going here a little bit more. I apply another one here, a little bit longer pattern here. So you see, extending a little bit this beautiful, beautiful rose. I'm going here and I decided to go for kind of uh, notice pinkish um, I would even say meth color so it's kind of pinkish reddish color um, you can also use red and let's let us try so uh, we have this color here I will go for the red now for um, which flower well, maybe for the center one so a little bit heavier you see almost like a heavy dot in the center and then create patterns but in, you see how they go around boom another one you see going one it's coming here maybe another one here so you see I'm not always following the lines that I applied first using the pencil uh, because I can apply lots of lots of changes and when I think that something can be fixed or that something will look better then I certainly have the opportunity now to do it you see even here in the center I can come and make it a little bit darker exactly there where is the center point now I will go with the same color here so that's um, pure red color and I use not as sharpies if you have markers you can certainly use them as well um, but I think sharpies give us a little bit stronger brighter color and I like brighter colors um, to be used for this project so you see here lots of lots of beautiful flowers maybe another one here you see so let us go here fast a little bit more of those patterns so I can keep one oval um, uh, line or following the shape of oval line but I think it's better it's better just to break it like you see pattern the shape of pattern and I think we want to go with a little bit of the pink inside uh, there will be the flower in the back of this flower this flower and then and even oh and in the front of the other one so right now I will come with another color this one it's even more mauve so it's almost like a purplish, right? I don't want to use the same colors, but if you have only one marker, that's okay too. Just use it for all those flowers. Now, that's what we have here, and it really looks really, really good. And I'm thinking about the vase. Which color can I use for the vase? And I decided that for the vase, I want to use brown color. So I will be going here on top of the lines here, you see. And if I have to extend something, then I certainly they will do it because this is the right type you see here broken line a little bit um do i see the vase here i don't think so so that's probably will be that's it for the vase now the next step here i think that i can bring this line i don't know i like to use the lines to really differentiate what is the ground and what is the um what is the background right so here and now for our beautiful leaves believe me or not i can use either blue color or i can use black and i will maybe use a black color here for the leaves so you see how i how i do them now since i know where they will be placed i'm not really following exactly the shape because i want to have them a little bit wavy now center that's for sure i need to have a center the main vein and then the shorter ones here you see here another one will go here then let's see this one will come here again a little bit like almost like a teeth i call them right then and then we go here and i can see another one here coming voila 
there will be a beautiful leaf and then we still have the space here but i will leave it maybe do you think it would be nice to have a pattern here uh, not pattern the leaf here maybe maybe because the green is nice i will like you see i'm doing it spontaneously i decided that i will apply one here and i will add another one here so i have oh my goodness i have lots of leaves so there's open space here but that's okay now guys it's time to start using watercolors so i have my set of watercolors which i love the brand the yarka brand then i'm using of course a piece of paper towel to make sure that when i use too much water i certainly can um can take access of it right away so i'm just placing my um let me see water is going on this side i have to organize it well so i will start with the beautiful flowers and i have a number of colors here just to show you i have um, this alizarin crimson color which is um kind of uh, raspberry red orange yellow and red that will be the colors that i will be uh, very much relying here on using so you see my raspberry color is coming here and i'm applying it oh another thing here you can still still uh, you see still in some places the um uh, marks of pencil i can erase them later on or i can i can do it just before i will start painting now with the amount of paint um in uh, i can make a darker color or lighter what i'm talking about amount of paint that means um the how much i take of the watercolors in ratio to water when i use lots of water a little bit of paint the color will be of course weaker i'm playing a little bit of yellow here okay uh, now i will take red now and i'm going with red on this flower here so i want to have slightly different colors i don't want to have the same color um, following all the flowers so i make sure that this is a little bit lighter you see so again the ratio is more water less of paint right and that's what i'm applying here then just to make it a little bit stronger in some places you can see i can come in some places and really darken in here so so that it's the patterns the flower doesn't look um, like just uh, done with outline and then some of the uh, uh, just one color okay so that's what we have if i don't like certain parts i can certainly help myself using the paper towel and taking them off i use apply a little bit of yellow here you see, just that the flower will have a little bit more colors good and the same i you know what i think yellow also can come here a little bit on the one side so that's my choice that arbitrary that's why you decide if you want to have it or not i will also use a little bit of orange color here because even when you have a certain kind of flower uh, not necessarily the same flower or i'll put actually on this one here has to have the same color uh, the same color following all the beautiful uh, beautiful flowers so here will be orange here i decided i'll apply some yellow so here i'm going you see voila voila that looks really nice and make sure that i don't touch the other flower here this is going quite nice a little bit more of the orange i need to have it in like a certain section so a little bit more oh haha -ha, that looks really good now this flower will be done with the help of yellow color so you see just for the contrast i always look for making the painting more interesting so not just um one color used on all the flowers right we want to have variety here so even even here in orange i will come with some of this beautiful raspberry color right to create um, a variety here we have yellow maybe i apply a little bit more of the orange so i make those decisions uh in the spur of the moment now definitely definitely pink is needed here okay i don't want to have it too dark so i help myself with the paper towel i really want to have a very delicate color here applied okay you see very very lightly oh that looks really 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 good okay here maybe i can leave even some of the white picking up through who knows maybe maybe that will look good with the side okay a little bit stronger here in this section just a little bit you see there and there that looks good now what else do we want to do we want to come back and we definitely definitely want to get darker here now very light here on the top 
okay if do you notice that the colors blend too much if you want to have more variety you can help yourself with marker you can apply um, additional lines once the paint is dry okay so here I like this color to be here and I want to bring in it a little bit of orange on the side here see so I'm really changing it here so that you can have a contrast here of the uh, in each of those flowers okay so that would be good very gently bringing this color here see a little bit more bringing over there and I think I will be okay with my flowers now from this step what I want to do I want to think about my green leaves and for the green leaves I'm thinking about application of yellow color you can see yellow because my green uh, the green consists of two colors mixed together and those colors are blue and and yellow so here for example when i add a little bit more of the yellow to the green color the color automatically becomes yellowish green and, and again when i look at at the leaves i often see that there's not just one color in each of them i see um, bluish green i see green 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 and then i also see a green that is very much um, on the yellowish side okay so let's see what will happen here when I add, again, this stronger green next to the flower. So you see, and I need, especially the where I have red, because I want to use the complementary color effect, which means that um, when you apply red next to the green or green next to the red, those colors are become brighter, just brighter, because of proximity of um, being one next to another. So that's what we have here. You see, I'm coming here with a little bit more. I do the same on this side here. And this time I want to show you what will happen when I apply blue here. So when I get some blue into my flower, you see the color also changed. It's still green, but how differently it looks, you see? And that's what I like about it. It's actually I added, added here a little bit of purple. You see, the color looks really, really cool. Now I add here, again, okay, more green. So because I need this darker green. Maybe I even put some of the uh, brown in it. Yeah, I don't know. We will see. You see, I like it like this. Good. Okay, so it's really stronger. And then let me put some of the, no, not even so much blue here. I still want to make sure that it's a little bit dry, a little bit drier. I will go here with blue. I want to show you what will happen. So light, light blue here. You see, and it's light because I used more water and less of paint, you see? And then I will show you in the second, how will I be able to change it? So here's definitely blue. And then when it mixes with green, it gets bluish green or greenish blue, you see? They are very nice colors here. So I'm adding here a little bit of my blue to change the color slightly, the green color that you see here, making it more interesting. Um, the same a little bit of it here, you see? I want to get the different kinds of, more on the bluish side, green on this side here. Oh, I like it very, very much. Now, this color, I want to show you what will happen when I add to it yellow. So you see, now I'm going with the yellow and notice colors, the, the color, the new color that I get becomes green. Ha ha, you see how nice it looks? Little bit more of it here. Whoa, look at this, how good it looks. And a little bit more of the green now, pure green. And the last thing that I want to use, I want to show you what will happen when we will apply here a little bit of brown. Why not, right? So let's see, little bit of brown, little bit of brown. See, nothing wrong with it, ha ha, I like the effect. You see, so again, as an artist, you always try to use different, different colors, okay? So that's what we have here, it's very rich. Now, the next step that I want to take is to think about the color in the background. So in the background, the color that I want to use will be, I think, the blue, because the blue really looks beautiful here, you see? So now, when we will apply it, we want to go, let's see here, doesn't need to go evenly. You can leave some of the white spots. That will be very, very good. You see here, beautiful. Wow, wow. We don't want to have perfectly even color. Remember, we use watercolors and we like the effect where you can show that the color flows naturally, you see? 
I think this could be a little bit too dark, so I want to clean it up a little bit. You see, I, and I also like this effect of dabbing on the paint, uh, on the paper, wet paper, with the paint to get those nice marks in it. Okay. So the same will be here, but this time I will add a little bit of the purple into it because I don't want to have perfectly even the same color, right? So when you look here. Hoo, 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 la, 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 that looks good. Voila, and then a little bit more of it here. Definitely here, you see? Ha, 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 really, really good. This can be a little bit darker, this section. Why, this part here, I'm not so sure yet. I first want to see, you see, what will happen. Voila, that looks really, really, really good. Okay almost done guys almost we just have to think about the vase now and the ground so the ground which color should we have on the ground hmm i don't know i really don't know maybe we'll use a little bit of the brown color here so this would be good not too much again remember we don't want to have too much of the brown color just a little bit for the contrast and I also can think a little bit about the very important part, about the shadows. Oh, I see that I missed the blue here. So I definitely have to go back, you see, and I have to apply blue. Wow, you see, that happens often that we forget about certain spots. You get so excited about painting that certain spots can't be missed. Good. So brown is here, and I want to add a little bit of yellow into it. You see here, I'm going up to the top. Maybe even applying a little bit of the orange, especially next to the to the uh, blue color. And I do it because it's a complementary color contrast. So I'm constantly thinking about using to my advantage how the color theory works, right? So you see, when I want to brighten my blue, I certainly have to have a little, well, not I have to have, but I can have a little bit of my blue, uh, blue orange color next to it, okay? So that's what we have here. Now, I want to have a little bit again of the orange next to my blue again here and dab it so that the color will be not overpowering, especially since I have the other colors over there. Now, I also want to have, I have forgotten, a little bit darker spot here. So to indicate there will be like kind of shadow here on the bottom, okay? Just a tiny bit. And then I'm going back to my beautiful, beautiful background little bit of brown here, not too much again. When it's too much, I have to take it off. Okay, with more water, just pure water, I can spread it better. And look what is happening here. Wow, that looks really, really, really good. Now, after finishing our vase, we can think now about, about painting the, see here, this is the shadow. Now, oh, this also will create a little bit maybe darker here. We can think now about the vase. And I have to decide if I want to have this vase transparent, so the translucent that you can see through. And actually, I like this idea. So what I can do with the vase, I can make it almost, let me see. I want to have some, maybe a little bit of this, this purple color here. See, just a little bit. I like it. You see, but I don't want to have it through every, every little element. I want to see a little bit of maybe light in some places. So some of those whites should be picking up through. Look, you see very lightly. Wow, that's good. A little bit darker here, I think that would help. And I like to use my fingers, which I don't know. This, uh, like I, I heard that the fingers are extension of the breath, the, or brushes are extension of our fingers. And I do believe in it very much. Sometimes um, when I use oil paints, it's easier for me to move the paint using the brush, especially in the small, very, um, very important uh, uh, places. Like when I create the eyes, I do it very often, right? Just to make sure that um, I get the specific detail. And with brush, I'm not always can get it. Okay, so you see how nice it looks? Whoa, still a little bit cleaning up here. I want to have it a little bit darker underneath of the sleeve. See, I like to show really the shadow here. A little bit darker here. And specifically in this position here, when one uh, form of the vase uh, touches the other one. So you see, that looks better already. Okay, it's darker, definitely darker here. 
and darker here. Good. Now, the one thing which I want to add here now will be the stems of the flowers. So when we take in account that this is transparent, so you see I can do just simply crossing with some green. You can see the vase here. See what's happening? It looks so good. And then maybe a little bit of black, just a tiny bit, you see, on one side, mixed with uh, the green. I have to get a little bit more water here. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I love painting this way, I really do. Okay, so a little bit of the, oh, now I get more black. Okay, you see here, just a tiny bit, you see, just on one side, remember, just on one side, okay? So we have our vase here now, and the only one thing that I want to add, like you see here, I want to get a little bit more definition. I hope that the, I already can do it, you see? Just a touch more here, like this, tiny bit. And I think that this way, you see, let's see if brown will work well. Oh yeah, see, just a touch. Good. So that's our painting, our assignment for today. I hope that you enjoyed uh, watching it with me. And now with excitement, you will be working on it by yourself. Have a wonderful day and see you next time. Bye.